Oh. It's like printing your own money. Mm. <laughs> I think I might have gotten a little overboard. This is either going to be exactly what I need or too many I need. Also, it turns out these aren't as useless as I thought they weren't. I forgot you could break bookshelves and get books. And then you go turn around and say, hey, and get mending. So I remember the last time that I introduced a new area and I said, we're going to start building there. And it took me like 10 episodes before I was finally building there. So I decided that since I introduced this last time, I'll just go ahead for right next video. So what I've got for you is a series of lines on the ground. And what they are is sort of a, trying to divide up areas. These are kind of like property lines a little bit. Uh, you don't really have to know what's going on, just that, uh, that I'm making them. Uh, the furthest ones out are sort of like the, the outermost perimeter of this area. Town, village, whatever it's going to be. I'm going to run through the mountains a little bit. You see there's a lot, there's lines all over the place. So what we have is this area, and there's more of the, uh, the line going around it. It skirts around this huge area. This is the forest that's just north of the town. I am, I am looking at it and thinking about what I want to put here. So I would like to share my thoughts. I think that, so this is the first town, right? Is uh, kind of secluded over there. It looks like it might have been a mining town. It's castle and all these things. Um, and it's right next to this forest. This is the forest that's like all evil and stuff. Well, I think that there should be a place hidden inside the forest that like is somehow immune to the evils of it somehow, but it's in here. And I think that what I'm going to do is this this actually seems a little bit too mountainous. What I want to do is have hills around the sides and then have it kind of dip into a valley in the middle. I, I'm thinking that's why I have those lines there. They're more elevation marks than anything. Like so the, they'll help me out. But there's there's going to be a lot of changes going on over here. But I want to look at, since, since this seems kind of daunting, I want to look at something that's not so daunting. And it's just on the edges. I figure if there's a forest with potential frets, frets all over the world. Wait, what? I want to start this sentence over. I don't want to work on what's inside of these just yet because I don't know what's going to go in there. But I had a really good idea for what should go outside. I actually want to have uh, towers, like watchtowers, out here just a little ways away from the perimeter. And, and my, my design idea is basically I want to have the towers from the movie Princess Mononoke. Uh, they happen, there's, there's one tower, it's all made of wood, and it's right, it's pretty much right at the beginning of that movie. It's a watchtower, it's really tall, it's really crazy looking, and I think it looks awesome. The first time I saw it, I was like, wow, that's really cool looking. Uh, so I think that Minecraft is a great place to take something that's really cool looking and bring it into the world that you've got going for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call up my, myself in creative mode with my bed, apparently, and see if I've got anything designed in store and plan that we could possibly use. So take it away. Oh, Woo, that was close. Oh, yes, and right you are. I have a design here. I'm going to fly up a little bit. This is as close as I could get. I took some time, and I think I'm actually pretty happy with this, and I think you will be too, mostly because you are me, but also because I'm happy about it, and I think that this is a good design because it'll go way above the trees, it'll actually have some distance on it if you actually look around, and it's made of olive wood, olive wood, and it's good for you. It's actually good for you. It is traversable up and down, and it is totally spawn-proof, except for this one block. But that's okay. Just put a torch on it, and it'll just look like it's lit on the top when it is nighttime. Ah, see? So, if you like what you see, 
If that looks like a nice uh, lookout tower, then go ahead and have at it. And I know just the place for it. Let's see. Oh, yep, there's the marker. Wait, oh, behind the scenes chest. Don't, don't look at those. Don't look at those. <laughs> oh, look at this. I'm lovely. This is one of the spots I scouted out. The mountains are back there, and that's where all of the, uh, the the fun stuff is. So this is just a little bit outside that perimeter. But there's this really cool kind of mountain thing, or like at least a little hill that happens here. And that generally looks like a good spot for a tower. So uh don't need this anymore because, well, I'm, I'm here now and I'm going to build it. However, what we will need our supplies. So I have a crafting bench just in case. Backup supplies here, but this is generally what is required. There's a few more, like there's a little extra of each type just in case uh, one falls, because generally I like to do that. But this should be all we need. And I'll actually, yeah, I'll, I'll bring these too. And the crafting bench as an insurance policy. So the first thing to know when you're building this is what direction you want it to face. It is directional. You have a choice of four directions. You have this way, this, that, and the other thing. We're going to go with this way because that way is pretty much straight the opposite direction. That's, that's like friendly territory. And this is like territory to be watching. So, that, you know, in case, that's why you have a watchtower, to watch things. Start off with foundation. I'm going to put two here because of the elevation change. But basically this is going to be the front right corner. There's going to be five spaces in between these two posts. So one, two, three, four, five, and then a post. Now if you find the middle, there's going to be six spaces before the next post. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the seventh one, that's where it is. So that is our start. Now I'm going to start with this side. With three on top of that, so that's four total. And fence. And when we hop onto this first one, we put a fence where we came from. This generally keeps mobs from spawning. Actually, it keeps mobs from spawning, I should just say. So this next one is three total. One, two, so two, three. And another one of these underneath. And you can put this one on top if you want, just make it easier. And this one is going to have fences just coming out on the sides. After that, we can jump down and do those. These are pretty much going to mirror image each other. Uh, remembering that there's one extra on the bottom here is going to help because they're pretty much the same height until they start doing things. So there's one, two, three, four there. So there's an extra. And then one, two, three, four. Now these are almost going to be mirror images of each other, except they're not. For instance, this is going to have a half slab of spruce on top. And then it's the, I believe, yeah, no, it's only two. It's only two, so two here. Then we're going to come in toward that with this. And two of them are going to go on that. This is going to need another half slab. And so will this. And a fence just right on that top one. Perfect. This one over here is the same. So there's an extra on the bottom because the elevation change. Then one, two, three, four. This side's different because once you put the fence down, the first one, the next one, the fences go on top of this. And the reason is because that's the side that's going to have the ladders. And I just don't want any fences in the way. So there's two total there, and then uh, fence, fence time, time for fencing, and two more here. And this is going to eventually have a fence on top of it. 
Actually, it's, yeah. Let's just start with it. And there we go. Actually, I might as well jump over here. Like that, I actually literally jumped over. Uh, let's see. I'm going to want them going up like that. So, I don't put them on the ground just because uh, skeletons and stuff, you know. If you jump, you can make it. Other things, they don't know how to jump, apparently. So, But you see that those half slabs don't actually make you even have to jump. You can get up this thing pretty fast. And it's kind of like in the movie. How they get up it is they literally climb up. Sometimes jumping on ladders, sometimes jumping on other things. So that being said, we'll keep going. So these fence pieces. There's going to be two in front. So I think I can reach that. Yep, two in front. It's going to go out to the side. And that should connect that up. And I believe, yeah, this will just go straight across. So now we have this kind of... Yeah, it's all, it's all connected up. Alright, so on to the next thing. This is going to have three on it. You can kind of click the top. This one will also have three. And I'm going to go ahead and take it up on its offer to go up in elevation. And I'll jump over here. This one will also be three. Uh, I was supposed to take that one's offer. Actually, my bad. This is going to be four total. So the one on the bottom is connected with the fence. There's two on top, three, and four right here. Now there's going to be a fence on top of that and a fence behind it. And there's going to be one on either side of this. And those are going to go directly into these two. And there's two on top of this. And there'll be one there. Two more. So that's that's three total. And can we jump it? Can I click the right? Yeah, we can jump it. Nope. Yep. And I'm going to put ladders on this one. So the trail of ladders will lead up to this. And let's put them on here all the way up with the half slab and so you're gonna climb up this ladder as I'm uh, accidentally demonstrating you're going to walk along this or jump along it and then you climb up this and it's the next part I wanted to have at least one part in this build where you run along the fences like along the beams because it also happens in the movie and I think that's cool on top of this it gets a fence and another fence and this is a little bit weird these blocks are filler blocks just so we can get this one there so that goes away that goes nope 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 Ugh. there we go that's what I wanted that is exactly what I wanted so on this Put a fence there, there, and let's do another one on top of the fence and right next to it. So that's what we have now. This next part, this is probably the narrowest point because all the beams kind of cross together right here. So it's going to start fanning out again. So we'll just have uh, these like that. Back ones are going to have the spruce fences on them and those are going to have two on top of them two oak logs that is this is going to go up to uh, meet their height and this is going to join so it's a nice little t little model of a t little model t so it'll be fences in the corners this gets a half slab and it's going to need a ladder otherwise you can't get to the top i missed that bottom all right, looking good. And actually, I have two of them on it also. Two there, two there. This will have a fence. A fence. 
and this will be the start of the next part. So this right here is going to go up three in total, so that's two more for us. So one, two. These are going to have a fence on the side and on top. So side and top. And of course, of course, a ladder and a nice half slab. Behind this half slab and on the on basically the wood below it, there'll be the fence. And it'll be four on top of this. So four. And one, two, three, four. And I believe this one will have three on it. So one, take it up, two, three. And I'll put the ladder there. I think it needs one more. Yeah, one more. And there we go. For these, I'm gonna put this on the side. One on this side too. In fact, I'm jump over here and deal with these. We'll deal with them. So these are gonna have one on the side and then one that connects to that. For these, there'll be one in front, one on the side, and make sure you don't fall when you shift onto these. There. This is gonna go all the way across, all the way across till it reaches the other post. At this point, it's gonna curve around, and that. And this one does what the other side did, there we go. On top of these are going to be two posts like that. And same thing. And then there's going to be a three high wood pillar there and uh, here. Turn around, get the spruce. Okay, those are already out. Good. We're going to finally start using them. So these are going to be bottom slabs. Go all the way across. And then another set right in front of all of those. Oops. If I say oops, by the way, it means don't do it. I believe I can reach this. Yep. The fence is going to just wrap around that. And this one too. I just realized I put this up one too high. So take that away. And I put a half slab there. The fence behind that. And this one should have four on top of it. So one, two, three, uh, four. I'm also realizing something. I won't have enough ladders. And you know what? I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy that I ran out. Because this just shows why this is important. It's important to have extra supplies so that you know that if you run out you'll be covered oh there it go whatever <laughs> and good okay so there'll be a fence not on the top but the second one down put that over here too I'll climb up this and let's join these up by bringing them straight toward us and it's going to be these doing their thing. I can't put one here, otherwise I'll hit my head. So what I have forced to do is put one above. But actually, that works out pretty good. And we'll just put that back. And to finish this up, this little platform you hang out on, just have a little safety railing. Because, you know, safety first. Actually, cool aesthetics first, safety second. So now, let's put an extra one on these so that they're all the same height. They're all happy. Put a fence on each of them. And uh, be kind of careful here. The fence is going to go right behind this. This will have two on top of it. And then a fence on this side. And nothing on top of this. But on this, it shall have two more. 
I'm gonna go back here and this has a fence on the back. This is gonna be four tall, I believe. Yeah. So on it says two, three, four. And actually it should be the same height as that. It's just that one's taking a little bit more squiggly path. And I'll do this one now. By the way, that's a that's a fun word, squiggly. Just, you know. Feels like onomatopoeia for like something squiggly, you know? Squiggly. Maybe I don't know what onomatopoeia is actually. So on top of this, I'm gonna put a stair like that. Gives us enough room to get up here. I'm gonna go ahead and put a stair on the very bottom one, facing the same way. And another one. I'm going to bring these all the way across. And you're going to get one. And so are you. To prepare the next section, I'm going to go ahead and find the middle. It's a little bit arbitrary because this is going out. This is a filler piece right here. But it makes it so I can do even more stairs. This is a little bit easier because there's already uh, stairs to stand on. Over here, I'm actually going to do sideways. And uh, sneak around here. Do another like that. So it should kind of fold around like that. There we go. Kind of wraps around like that. And I'm going to do it over here too. Alright. I think I have to do one more of these. Another filler piece right in the middle. Stair like that. And let's see if we can get two of them on there like that. Yeah, that's good. That's looking good. That's the back side pretty much complete. So that's, that's, yeah. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put these here too. There's going to be two on top of this, and then cap it off with one of those. And let's see, same thing over here, and a cap. As you can see, we're actually pretty high up here. You can see the border there. We just have to finish the rest of this roof. So this one is going to have the piece, a stair facing this way. So what it'll do is it'll connect and make that really cool shape. Uh, over here, another stair. Just gonna do the wrap around. I'd fall a little bit, but not so much. Not too much. And then from here, it's gonna be a zigzag. You know, nothing too crazy. Hopefully, nothing too crazy. Right? Joins up pretty good. On this one, it's going to be a stair, not on the top one, but the second one down. And then we'll run over there, do the exact same thing, but opposite. And just jump right on to the next row. This is basically going to follow the guide of the rows below. So over here, and I really liked this because uh, the original, the roof is made of straw and it kind of tapers to a point in the middle. And I think this is this is looking looking decent, looking decent. So that's a filler block to put a stair there, and it's going to go there. Is it? top slab. This is pretty much going to get a full slab and then one on top of that. A nice chair and I'll put a half slab here because right now that can spawn something and there we go. That, oh wait nope, there we don't go. One more. Getting excited it's almost done. One, two, Buckle my shoe. Okay, that's it. We're. Oh wait, nope. We're not. We're not quite done. I'll. I'll. I'll come through here. Okay, good. 
Great. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, let's put that right back. I think if we click the bottom of that, that's good. So inside here is the final touch-ups. Uh, everything here is going to get a half slab. So, yeah, pretty much that. Uh, I think I think it looks a little bit nicer after it's after it's done. So these are filler pieces, like I said. So those get out of there. They get in here. This next part, half slabs there, 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 there. there. Keep that one open because that looks nice. And a half slab there. And I think that tapers it all. And it looks all good and all. And I gotta say, it's quite the view. You know, let's let's splurge. Let's splurge a little. I'm gonna splurge. I feel splurgy. So see, ten. Ooh, big spender. <laughs> All right, there we go. Look at that. You can see the wall from there. That's really cool. I, I like the fact that this is 10. You can barely see it at 10 chunks because that's that's actually the uh, the setting I ultimately want to be able to play this series on. My my computer is screaming right now. It's it's not liking it. So I'm I'm not going to move. I'm not going to wander around. I'm just going to scan the horizons. So you can see more of more of that. And also you can see another one of these. I put another one there. So this was not the first one I built. But that'd be cool if you could just like barely see another tower. They're basically going to circle this whole thing. They're going to be like the watchtowers keeping watch of the forest. Because you know the forests have, have bad stuff in them. There's bad guys out there. I like the concept of filling up the forest with kind of supernatural things. Like this is supposed to be practically a forest of death. So, you know, why not take inspiration from, like, horror things or whatever that, that, that put things in forests? Like, uh, I can think of a few things from Don't, Don't Starve, for instance. Like, having some of the living wood trees out there. Or, like, trees that could be, like, in the shapes of spiders or whatever. So, but basically, what's going to happen is I'm going to put these all around it. This is going to be a landscaping project landscaping a project and a half because I don't want that to be as tall as it is I kind of want it to have maybe like it can have hills on the outsides but I want it to be kind of dipped in the middle and have like a really peaceful area have like these towers around the sides so it's it's not quite as seclusionist as this place just build a huge wall this place still likes the forest and it strives to live in harmony with it but it needs these towers. So this, this is kind of the lore behind it. It needs these towers to have watches on things. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no
I like how imposing they are. I like that you can see them in the distance, and they actually do serve as watchtowers. And definitely nothing's going to come up there and bug you if you're hanging out there. Also, I just get a kick, a really big kick, maybe even a kick, out of seeing stuff from fantasy movies and stuff and actually being able to build it in Minecraft and uh, explore it and make it part of the world. Like that's that's one of the things that excites me the most about about Minecraft. Why this game to me is freaking totally awesome. Is because you can take something and be like that exists only in a movie or only in a book. But I want it to exist in the here and now, in the 3D virtual world. So I don't know if those are all synonymous, but whatever. Fact is you can do your best work at it and come up with pretty cool stuff. So I'm as you can you can or cannot tell, I was I'm pretty happy with this. I also don't think I've designed a build in a little while. Um so I'm I'm pretty happy about that. I'm I'm happy. I'm happy happy. So as the sun sets on this episode, I have to say thank you for watching. I'm going to get more of these thrown up here. And I'm going to think about what else to do with this region. Because I'm going to think about it. Actually, that's not because I'm going to think about it. It's what I'm going to do. All right, I'm running out of time. Mob's going to come. Thank you for watching. This has been Red McNed with the Saga. And I'll see you next time.